need some ideas out there. Due to the non-existent inflation, uh, food budget going up and everything else, uh, yes, to be on a special diet, it costs extra. I cannot eat rice and potatoes and stuff like that. Otherwise, I wouldn't be losing weight. But anyway, and uh, price of medication at the co-op going up. I'm thinking I'm going to have to do some kind of farm aid uh, thing, at least every fall and spring. And this would be spring. Uh, $1,000 a month may be enough income to you know, take care of myself, but you know, as far as doing maintenance, uh, oil changes on a vehicle, you know, the spring tune-ups and the fall putting uh, extra feed away and stuff like that in the fall. I'm going to have to probably do two, at least two farm aid projects a year. You know, so uh, all the people out there are talking about e-bagging. <sighs> They'll have a field day of this. They think everything should, you do on YouTube should be free. I'd like to be able to do... I mean, there are people out there actually making money uh, being, how would you call it, prepper consultants. But here's the problem with the prepper consultants. They go out and consult, and they just tell people what they want to hear. You know, I couldn't do that because then that wouldn't be doing the job properly. You know, uh, if I if somebody wanted to say, "Come out and look at my stuff and see, do you have any ideas?" Uh, I may tell them stuff they don't want to hear. You know, and then well, that gets you a bad rap. And, I, and that's why I don't have the big fancy YouTube channel. Because I say things people just don't want to hear. They don't want to hear it. And it gets me, uh, you know, all the homosexuals uh, split from my channel. <laughs> all the, uh, you know, the, uh, I call them right-wing nut jobs have split from my channel. Because, you know, I, I don't believe anybody can be forced into something. But then again, you can't force me into your ideals either. So, um, I like, okay, I'll go back to the homosexual thing. You know, hey, if you want to be a homosexual, get back in the closet. Doesn't mean you can force your beliefs on me. I don't have to accept you. I don't have to. You know, if you want to be, uh, if you want to burn in hell, just go on your merry way, just don't come around me and expect me to support it or be with it. So, anyhow. And then, of course, there's a lot of YouTube channels that they want to play with guns. That's all it is about is guns. Guns, guns, guns. And I think a lot of their a lot of their views come from overseas where they can't have no guns. So, there's tons of gun channels. Uh, here recently, you know, I... When back in two, I think it was two thousand nine or so, when the uh, prepper movement was just starting, I started up with the communications. You need communications, and finally, finally, after a couple of years of that, me beating on that old drum, you know, and here we got Southern Prepper One with a ham radio license now. So uh, we got those communications going, but now there's transportation, and it takes more work transportation. Uh, all you got to do is look at an old western movie. I mean, face it, horses, donkeys, mules, they were here before the automobile. And if you've got some land, you can feed them. Actually, if you look at the cost of cheaper hay, and you actually used a horse and buggy, I mean actually used it instead of a car, it would cost probably less than a car. Okay, you go out and buy, I'm talking buying brand new, brand spanking new stuff now. This is hypothetical, brand spanking new. Brand new buggy, brand new harness, and brand new cha trained horse, horse that's already trained. That's going to cost you about five grand.
it's, it's trained. And it's young. It has to be young and trained properly. Okay, you go out and buy a new car. 30 grand. Now, of course, either way, you could get used either way. But uh, what's the payments on that car going to be? Add interest to it. You're going to wind up paying 40 grand for a 30 grand car at least. So you got your 10 grand. Within the first four years of just throwing hay out and a little bit of supplement, you know, some salt and supplement, you could feed that horse in a stall in your garage every day. But there is labor involved every day where you'd have to go out and scrape out the poop. You know, but scrape out the poop, brush, and everything else. So, yes, there's more labor involved. But it is EMP proof. <laughs> You know, you'll never, you'll be riding down the road and all of a sudden everybody else's car stopped. You just keep on going. <laughs> Nothing ever happened. Uh, so there, there's the benefit of that. Plus, you know, you're not putting in gas. So we got to remember gas, tires, and oil. So uh, even, after, even if you had the money to go out and buy a car with cash, you're still buying gas, tires, oil, taxes, insurance. All that adds up to where within the four or five years you're making car payments, you're actually paying on a $30,000 car, you're paying around $60,000. So, horses are not that uneconomical. If, if, here's the big word, if, I-F, you use them as a working thing, as work. That's why I'm training mine. I mean, I can't. And that's why I'm having to have farm aid. I mean, come on. It's not just the horses. It's the truck. I mean, I got to get plugs and filters for the lawnmowers. To, it's just silly amounts. Everything just adds up. I mean, and then, you know, if say something breaks, uh, have a water leak, you know, get a water leak, and all of a sudden the... Uh, the water company shuts off your water. Anyway, that's what I'm thinking about doing here. Is doing maybe a spring and fall farm aid project <laughs> here on YouTube. And uh, see, you know, if I, if I could just raise a couple of grand in the spring, you know, to get the medications, the, the plugs, the... Uh, Oils changed and all like that, and then in the fall, you know, get the winter feed in hay, all like that. I could probably pretty well make it by. You know, I wouldn't be. Uh, how would you say, partying? <laughs> I mean, but uh, it would it would keep me on track on my diet at least. So, uh, you know, oh, don't forget medicines going up too. Yeah, and. I know people right now have been working 12 years for hospitals that are getting laid off because of Obamacare. The hospitals are ble hemorrhaging money out right now, or so they say. And those people are going to be unemployed. So, join the club. Anyway. Uh, oh, and there's, there's just a lot of funny things going on, so... I'm, I'm going to pretty well say before the next ele presidential election comes up, you better have your water and uh, at least your water, food, and shelter taken care of. Uh, I just got a kick in the butt because the city shut off my water even after I paid the bill. It just wasn't the complete bill. and that, Which makes no sense because occasionally that bill has gotten lost in the mail. And I always send in a payment. You until having a leak, you know, I didn't know it was that high. But occasionally the bill gets lost in the mail or something like that. You know, you don't get a bill. You say, well, my water bill's about forty bucks anyway. So I send you send in forty bucks, and let's say you're you're over by twenty dollars or something like that, and they without notice come shut your water off. That's uh, real good. So, anyway, I'll talk to you all later.
any ideas, uh, videos you want to see for the farm aid project? Just, I could guess I could do a farm update and show you everything's falling apart because uh, it takes money to keep things in repair. Talk to y'all later.